Okay, so this time around we're going to see the structure of the application and how we're going to work individually. So uh, I think uh, one of the videos I've talked about the structure somehow. Uh, I don't really know. But I just say uh, what I'm going to do. I'm not going to talk about the whole application. Okay, we're going to narrow it down to some of the things we we'll need to work with. Okay, and as time goes on, we're going to talk about different parts of the application, like uh, the app, the app, uh, the database, the public, the resources, the routes. Okay, so but for now. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you uh, this part of the application you're seeing and how we can work on it. Because since we are going to work on the front end first, we should know where this information, this whole thing is coming from. Okay. Now, in the application, there are two two parts of the application that are very. In fact, all of all the parts are important, but there are two important parts that we're going to look at now. Uh, we're going to look at the route and the resources. Route and resources, okay. Uh, first and foremost, the routes. Now, if you open the route folder, you're going to see different route files, uh, PHP files and the route files. Now, this is what we're going to be working with for now. These are our web routes, and uh, later on. If we're talking about uh, how we're going to communicate with our backend, we're not going to use this API route file, okay? But for now, let's close the API. We're working with the um, the web route file, okay? Now, the route file is what handles the HTTP request within your application. For instance, uh, this is the landing page this is the landing routes or the the, the a default home routes here on this page like for instance if i come here and i say let's say we return something like a like a string like saying hello world okay hello world here okay so what you simply see if i refresh this page you're going to just see the string hello world okay so this is a simple indication that tells you that what you're seeing here is what was returned uh, uh, for you okay so assuming we want to create maybe another route file we can simply say uh, another route function rather we can say route now when you talk about http like i said it defines the HTTP request. You know we have different HTTP requests. We have the get, we have the post, okay, and uh, we have the delete and others, okay. So, assuming we are talking about a post request, we're going to say this is post here, just like so you can see at the top, we have the get request, okay. So, for now, we're going to be using get. As uh, time goes on, we'll see where we're going to bring in the post, okay? So now, let's just say I want to, this is just a test route. Let me just call it ABC, for instance, ABC. Now, the ABC route, what uh, are we going to do with it? So we have to declare a function that is, a function that the ABC route is going to uh, uh, work with, okay? so. Now I've declared the ABC route and a function on it. Now the function will now return what I want it to return. Okay, let's say uh, also return the string here saying ABC route routing test. Okay. So if I do ABC routing test, what this simply means is that uh, apart from my landing page which is the training.com if i do slash slash abc here and i hit enter to give me what you what we defined here which is what we return here returning abc route that means like i said before this is the landing 
route or the landing page that means where you say training.com according to your host name okay that is what it will give to you okay so any other extra routing have to be defined so as we walk along as we create more pages you see that we're going to create more route file that will have different uh, 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 routes parameters okay now as well we can also give them a name like as you can see what's uh, the example here that you you seen here have a name okay so we can also give them a name but uh, for now we're not going to need the name because uh, we have to understand how we work with the name first okay but definitely if we want to name a route we can simply just name it this way okay we're going to talk more on the, the naming of routes as we go on okay so now what i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to tell you here now is like before now we only have this return view home okay return view uh, sorry welcome okay now return view welcome what does that mean when we say return view welcome from what we saw initially it returns this uh sorry did i save that no i didn't save it okay it returns this interface okay now what does this mean okay this is for those of us that are new to laravel that have not worked with laravel before returning this view here now this view simply represents this view folder on your resource okay you can see on your resources you have the view folder now if we open the view folder on our resources you're going to see a file called welcome.blade.php now this welcome you're seeing here now is simply telling this route file that it should go to the resources on the view folder look for a page called welcome dot blade dot php so if we open this welcome dot blade dot php you find out that we we'll have our html and uh, the necessary things like a, a normal conventional web page okay as you can see okay so that's what is displaying on this path that you're seeing so let's take for instance i'll just comment this whole thing out let me comment the whole thing out and i just maybe create my own let me say hello to you okay just a test on it okay so if i come here and refresh my page you find out that what i added on that welcome dot blade is what you're seeing okay so uh i'm going to create a new blade file okay and uh with time i'm going to explain why the blade there why not just welcome.php for those of us that are new to it okay so now let's say on this our uh, abc file let's say we want, we want to return a view as well so i'll simply say view okay uh, say view then i'll simply say let me say abc this simply means that on my view i have a abc uh, file okay but here i don't have an abc file yet so if i refresh this page okay sorry let's say i want to visit the abc like i've done before slash abc now it's going to give me 404 error because there's nothing like that okay not 404 actually view abc not found now why this is showing here remember i told you something about uh emv that uh we, in our emv we said uh this app debug is true assuming we say this false what it will do is it will not show us the error so since we say app debug is true that is why that is why it is giving us the error because it's assuming that we are still developing so we we should know what's going on the error we are having so that we we'll know how to solve it okay but when we say app debug is false the application automatically detects that okay we are not debugging the app so we are not under development so 
uh, it should not give us the actual error in case okay so this simply means that when you finish developing your app and you want to put it up for uh, production you should set that app default app debug to false so that it will not show your user such uh, um, irrelevant uh, errors okay so we we'll set it back to true because we are still debugging so that we we'll we'll know the actual problem that the app is having so here now it's telling us that the view abc is not found the reason is because we are really uh, uh, requesting for a view called abc whereas we don't have any view called abc on our view folder okay so what i'll simply do here now is i'll create abc dot bleed dot php okay so when i create uh, this i'll simply say let me say i put my normal html file let's say i create uh, the let me just say abc testing okay and uh let's say i create an h2 and i say testing routing okay on the app so if i do this and i refresh this page you see that automatically i'll get my abc testing and this okay so actually i can start designing my application using the blade uh, uh blade files okay on my view okay but for this our project we are not really going to work mainly on the views because i want us to work really on uh, javascript using the vue.js okay so we're not going to do this rather we're going to do this okay we're going to do this we're not going to use just returning view like that okay now in this larvae version in this larvae version uh like when we're installing if you watch the installation videos i told you we're going to be using uh the initial uh js okay that is what we use so uh so what we're going to do here with this <sighs> now i'm going to create okay first and foremost let me tell us what's why we're not going to use ticks okay we're not going to use this now we're not going to use this in the sense that this particular route have what they call a middleware okay I'm going to explain middleware later on, but for now, what you just need to know about middleware is that middleware is just like a guard to guide your authentication. That is to say, uh, it, it will only work with a logged in user. Okay, the middleware is used for the login processes. Assuming you want to log in, the middleware is what will restrict the user from accessing the application dashboard that will enable you to uh, log in before you have access to the application dashboard see uh, as you can see it's returning it's rendering the dashboard here okay so that is why we're not going to use this but we're going to create our own route that will also render with uh, the initial js okay so what i'm going to do here now is i'm simply going to create another route okay now this time around these routes are going to be different from the first one i created i'm also going to use the get okay let's say uh the routes will be um, let's say testing uh or let's just say js page one or js page one okay js page one now the js page one i'm still going to use a function okay then uh, here instead of 
instead of returning the view just like that like I, I've explained before like I've explained before returning view we simply come to your view folder here and uh, and look for a particular view file uh, a blade file rather but this time around we're going to return the initial okay so let me just copy this okay so we return the initial to render this okay now rendering this now we're not going to render the dashboard here because if we render the dashboard we're going to have some issues let me just see let me just see let me just try render it let's see so our last file now is yes page one so let's go to our app and say slash js page one and see what to give to us it gave us an empty page okay if we go to our inspector or go to our console we're going to see a lot of errors there okay we're going to see a lot of errors that's why we have an empty page but let me explain this properly now what we are rendering here is simply coming not from our view this time around but from the js okay now if you open the js folder we have pages okay now this pages folder if you open the pages folder you're going to see the file called dashboard.view okay this time around we'll be using view, uh, view js instead of the bleed okay so dashboard of view the dashboard of view is what this guy represents that means this guy is pointing to this page called dashboard.view that is on pages inside your js okay so but the 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 problem we are having with this guy now is that the dashboard.view is authenticated okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and create our own file let's call it uh, page one dot view okay now we'll create the page one dot view we're going to change our route to uh, the name we'll call it which is page one okay so if we do this we'll save it and on our page one let's just say i say hello let's see if we're going to have that okay so i'll simply refresh this uh, i don't have hello as well because uh, i'll still have an error i cannot find page one okay i'm coming okay 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 i forgot we are now working with javascript okay so since we're now working with javascript um what we're going to do here is we'll come to our terminal let me clear this up now while we are having issues okay first and foremost let's say you need a template here and on the template you need a div on it i'm going to explain better this later okay but just create a template element and inside the template element you have a div on it okay so this makes this guy ready so here what you're going to do here now is on your terminal you have to compile because anything you're working on your javascript have to be compiled okay now let me just explain what it means to compile projects okay now your your application works with this public folder not just the resource like i, I remember i said the resource and the routes are the important things we're going to the same okay but the actual thing that is happening is your application is not working directly with your resource folder but everything you do on the resource okay uh, especially the js and the css are compiled into your public folder the css and the js here so this js folder you work in, the js application that's app.js this app.js is what your application is actually working with because if i come here and i and i I go to view 
pay source, you're going to see that I'm connected to the app.js. Okay, so the app.js is what your application look into and work with its configuration. Okay, so now on the app.js, what I simply mean by compiling is anything you do in the resources, the JS on the resources is supposed to be compiled into this app.js on your public before it can work. So therefore, anything you are doing here on the JS, whenever you make any change here, you're supposed to run the command npm run dev, okay? So when you run the command npm run dev, it will automatically compile this new thing you did and store it on the app.js in the public, okay? So when it stores it there, it will not be readily available on your interface, okay? Just like you can see, you cannot find the module page one, okay? So let's compile this and try it again. Okay, so this video is also very lengthy. So I'll just stop the video and continue when it's finished compiling. Okay.